What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about my first uh, experience with a Moon Man pen. This is the upgraded 2019 C1 Moon Man pen. <laughs> um, it has a fine nib and I bought it off of Amazon. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, it is a solid cylindrical shape. Uh, no taper, no nothing. It is just a rod of clear plastic, essentially. <laughs> um, and it does have a slight dip. Sorry, I got ink on my finger. It has a slight flat edge right here. And that is to stop it from rolling. It doesn't really work though. Uh, it will continue to roll unless you actually place it on the flat spot. Um, but even then, it, it doesn't take too much effort to actually make it roll. So it sort of functions. Um, but other than that, it is completely just a solid piece of plastic. Not too fancy there. Um, this part is solid. This part is solid. Obviously, you can see the inner workings. It screws out here. Has a colored grip section, which I think is stunning. It is nice and shimmery. This is sort of like purple, reds, and blues, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, regular plastic feed. The nib just has a little design on it that says Moon Man and has an F for fine. Although, spoiler, it writes more like a medium. Uh, it does take some effort to unscrew the body from the pen itself uh, because of the rubber grip here, uh, because you can eyedropper convert this entire barrel should you wish to do so. Um, but it does come with this converter, uh, which I currently have inked up with Diatrementis Tobacco. Uh, and that's about it. It's pretty simple. Uh, you cannot post the pen because the whole thing is flush. Uh, so it's literally the same size, but I don't think you'd want to because it's pretty long um, and it it's not heavy at all. It is a lighter pen because it's all plastic, but because of the just bulk of the plastic, there is a little bit of weight. Uh, got ink there too. Um, the grip section is very comfortable. Uh, it does have a pretty pretty intense step up here but it's so far back um, and the threads are very smooth. Um, so even though like the, the fleshy meaty part of my thumb hits the threads, you're not really gonna notice it too much. It sits really, really nicely. Um, so there's a lot to like about this pen. There's not much I dislike. Um, I like the fact that there's no clip on it. Clips to me don't serve a purpose um, because I don't, well, clip them anywhere. <laughs> so uh, it doesn't bother me that there is no clip. Um, yeah, I would not put an ink in this that stains if I were you, just because it is so clear. Um, for a cheap pen, that is fairly impressive that they're able to polish the whole thing so that it is clear without any, like, gunk and, and unfinished portions. Uh, that does take, you know, more time and effort than cheap pens usually will put into it, uh, which is why a lot of times they will be colored so that the inside of the barrel doesn't have to be uh, polished. But obviously, if it's a demonstrator, you want it to be. <laughs> so that is nice that it's done um, and still is relatively cheap. Oh, $37.99 Canadian, so it'd be less for Americans. Uh, and with Amazon, if you're patient enough, it, uh, it does come down. Um, so... There we have it. Let's do some writing. This book here is um, Galen Leather uh, Everyday Notebook. It's Tomoe River Paper. Okay, so don't mind this. It, I don't know what happened. <laughs> So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Again, Moon Man steel nib, supposedly fine, but I would say that is a lie. And the ink is Diatrementis Tobacco. Uh, this pen, when I first got it, was pretty darn dry. Um, this is a drier ink, uh, but it was very dry. So I did open the tines slightly because they were pinched together. Um, and then as soon as I did that, and honestly, it took five seconds, uh, it 
loosened up beautifully. Um, the first two words always tend to write pretty wet uh, and then it, it settles in. Uh, and I've never had any issues with it. It is a solid performer. No skips, no hard starts, no nothing. Um, reverse writing does it actually really well. It's pretty darn smooth um, and it keeps up. And then I would say you'd get a fine medium. So, I mean, for by comparison, this is Pilot's medium uh, in the Pilot Explorer, which I have already done that review of. Um, now, granted, you know, it's, it's a Japanese pen, but... There's clearly a line variation difference. So this is not a fine. Um, I just say that it's straight up 100% a lie. This is a thick, beefy medium. Uh, that wasn't a skip. I was actually holding the pen uh, sideways. Uh, this is a thick, beefy medium that honestly borders on broad, in my opinion. Uh, you can squeeze out a tiny tiny bit of variation but it's pretty it's a pretty stiff nib um, but it writes really well and I'm impressed and even under its own weight it writes so um, do I recommend this pen yeah I do I actually like it more than I expected to um, and I find myself picking it up a, a fair amount, actually. This is, I mean, I've filled the uh, converter here twice, and obviously I'm going to need to do it a third time. Um, because it is, like I said, I made it wet. Um, it, it's still wet. Uh, and because it is a, a broader nib, it does go through ink faster. Uh, but your mileage may vary on that. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Um, take a look at Amazon or your local retailers. I'm not sure how many retailers carry it, um, but you know, it's definitely worth a look. Um, so guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you liked it, but haven't yet done so already, do hit that subscribe button. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q and A on Tuesday. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.